Hey guys, it's your girl T and our favorite state, Ratchet Ass Florida, is back in the news. So what's going on now in Florida, you ask? What's going on is that this Ratchet Ass woman somehow got a hold of this 74-year-old woman's credit card. So what's the first thing she decides to go buy with this credit card that she supposedly found? She decides to go buy $400 worth of hair weave. So if she goes to buy the hair weave, the clerk kind of gets suspicious. He's like, well, the name on here doesn't match your name, and I don't really know your name, and, you know, the ID don't match. Because she had a driver's license, but it did match the credit card, and she tried to lie and say it was her mother's credit card. And so he was like, okay, fine, well, let me take a picture of you. And like an idiot, she sat there and just cheesed for the camera like it was a good thing. Go ahead and check out this story, and I will come back with the rest of my commentary. Say they're getting closer to catching the woman who used a stolen credit card to steal $400 worth of this hair inside this beauty supply store. Ocala police say they've been getting numerous tips after a 21-year-old employee became suspicious and snapped her picture. He never had anything stolen from me. It's been exactly one month since 74-year-old Josephine Lupo had her wallet stolen at this Ocala Walmart. I'm, I'm shaking right now. Every time I think about it, I say, how would that happen? But now, police have a huge lead. This picture of a smiling woman posing with Lupo's stolen credit card. It spread quickly across social media, including our Local 6 Facebook page. You know, she spends a lot of money with us. Abdel Kasem says the woman is a regular customer, but grew suspicious after she showed a credit card but didn't have a matching driver's license. She kept saying, oh, you know me, you know me. I, was, I just told her, I was like, we know your face, we know that you come in here and you're friendly, but we don't know your name, so I'm not just going to take your car without an ID. So we asked to take her picture. I thought that would scare her into being like, okay, you know what, I don't want this anymore, let me get out of here. But she was like, no, no, and you, did you see the picture? She smiled for it. The picture surprised Lupo, too, because she says the woman who took her wallet was not African American. So now police are hoping this picture will help lead them to whoever else was helping her steal. I'm going to put all my credit card in, in the vault. I wanted them in jail. According to this report, there may be even more evidence for police. There's surveillance video that shows the woman using that stolen credit card to steal gas, but police tell me it's not available today. In Ocala, Amaka Ubaka, Local 6. All right, so you guys just watched the news story, and my whole thing is, what is it with black folks and hair weave? Why are we so obsessed with other people's hair? Like, I just find this funny that this woman wanted this $400 pack of hair so bad that she decided to pose next to a stolen credit card. Do you not realize that what you're doing is a felony, you idiot? Who lets somebody take a picture of them while they're in the process of committing a crime? It's like folks don't even use common sense any damn more. And the dude gave her a chance to leave the store, but she needed that yakky so bad that she chose to pose for a picture. I mean, this is some crazy shit. Now, her picture is being circulated out through social media, so I'm sure this woman will be caught by the end of the week. So I'm sure by Monday morning, the Florida police would have done their job and her ass would be sitting in the Florida jail. Mark my words. I'm going to go ahead and keep an eye on this story. They haven't caught her yet. But because this story is floating around social media and it's viral, they're pretty sure they're going to catch her soon enough. So anyways, go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire ratchet situation that's coming out of our first favorite state, ratchet-ass Florida. All right. Deuces.